Hi guys, this is James from Bucks Downhill. Today we're going to be doing a camera review on the Canon 70D. Now, this is the DSLR that I own. I picked this up after using a, a GoPro for a, a year or two. I've had the camera for about six months now and I've really enjoyed using it. So first off, it's a crop sensor camera and so you can use all your crop sensor lenses on it. You don't need to go buying really expensive L-series lenses. One of the most famous things about this camera is its autofocus system. It's got a 19 point autofocus system which means focusing is really really super fast and it's great for high speed camera shooting so if you're doing say action sports uh, or anything where you need to be focusing really really quickly and just get the perfect shot every single time. This camera is perfect for that. Also, it's really popular for its video uses, which is what I mainly use it for, and what this review is going to be mainly covering is the video side of this DSLR. However, it's still a great photography body. Another point about the autofocus system is it's got face detection, which means that when you're doing a review, such as this one, wherever I move, the camera automatically focuses on my face and it will track me whether how close I go to the lens. The flip out screen is something that the that can have been implementing recently. They have it on the 700D, the 750 and the 650 and now they've brought it to the more advanced lineup of Canon DSLRs. It's great because it means again when you're doing reviews such as this you can see yourself on the uh, the screen and also you can pull focus just by tapping which is great for on the go filmmaking. Furthermore, the screen is great for accessing all the menus and it makes, for someone like me who was completely new to the Canon menu system, it made it really easy for me to learn how it all works because everything's done by touch screen and anywhere you tap you can easily get into it and you're not fiddling around with different dials and buttons. Considering the dials, we have two dials, we've got one on the top for shutter speed and then one on the back which can be allocated to various different things. Or by default it's allocated to aperture which is what I've kept it at so it's easy just to change the settings on the go. It's got an LCD screen on the top of the camera so if you're in a, like, a really sunny environment where there's going to be a lot of glare on the screen you can still see it on the LCD screen and also that can light up for you as well when you're in the dark. This camera has built in digital zoom which I wouldn't recommend for shooting video or taking photos but what it is really useful for is you can punch in and look at your subject, making sure that they're in focus and pull out just to be sure that you're gonna get the perfect shot. The dial on the top has what I've got written down as a locky thing. Basically, it's got this neat button on the top so that when you're carrying around your camera and you're giving it to other people, the locky thing makes sure that the camera settings won't change and you'll stay in whatever mode you're in which is great compared to something like the 70D where I found that occasionally the mode does slip and it can be fairly irritating. The camera can film at 1080p at 24fps, 25fps or 30fps. Also it can shoot at 720p at 60fps or 50fps. So you can do some slow-mo things although it is in a slightly lower resolution but it's still HD. It's got two compression modes, it's got all eye and IPB. The all eye compression mode is basically just a little bit better for color correction, although personally I can't really tell much of a difference, so I tend to use IPB as it takes up half as much space on your SD card. A fairly new thing for this camera, which most of the Canon lineup doesn't have, is it's got built-in Wi-Fi, which means you can connect it to something like your phone or your laptop and directly download pictures and change settings from far away from the camera, which is great for, for example, when I first started off and was doing low-light photography and using long shutter speeds, it meant that I could activate the shutter using my phone rather than having vibrations go through the camera. The camera's fairly expensive for your first DSLR, however, when I got it, I knew I wanted a DSLR that was going to last me a long, long time and something that I was going to be happy with and uh, that I didn't want to upgrade. The camera comes in around £1,000 with the 18 to 135mm lens and you can get it body only for around £500 to £600 depending on where you get it from. We will link some various online dealers down below in the description. So for my personal p opinion about the camera, I think it's great for something what I do, which is action sports and filming things 
on the go, especially at events where you just need to quickly pull focus and get shooting and not fussing around with loads of different camera settings and your focus points. As I said earlier, it can be pretty pricey for your first DSLR, however it's going to last you a long time and I can guarantee you're not going to be wanting to upgrade anytime soon. Anyway, this has been James from Bucks Downhill talking about the Canon 70D. Cool. Done.